Okay, so unrelated to the video ahead, uh, the reason why we got Star Screams over there and and possibly Optimus and Megatron there is that I was actually filming a skit. So be prepared for uh, those knuckleheads being the background for the day. All right. Anyway, so Doctor Show 140 dropped around Sunday, and you know what? Yesterday we talked about Chainsaw Man. Today we talk about Doctor Stone. Real arc, short, the real part, of meat and potatoes of the stories. I had a hard time trying to pick the perfect, perfect metaphor for this. The real meat and potatoes of the story is actually upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Forget all that arc from chapter 139, or pre-chapter 140. Because right now, the reawakening of Tsukasa shows that we are about to get ready. To go to the moon. Now, for those that don't know who Sukasa is, he was the former antagonist of the series up until his arc had ended right around the Stone Wars saga. Broke. Star Wars. Woke. Stone Wars. Genius. Genius punk. But, yeah, after that arc had ended, which might be season two of the TV anime, which I don't know if you have. Has, has, anyone, has anyone watched that? Have you watched it? Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. Eh, who knows? I do recommend it, though, if you're into... If you're into science fiction series, which you know pretty much it is. But why not we discuss this chapter here? So after chapter 140 had passed, they got the uh, stone cure, which uh, for those that don't know, the whole world of Dr. Stone, everyone is pretty much turned to stone, except maybe like a few humans here and there, and thanks to uh, reproduction and evolution and such, well, not really revolution, not evolution per se, but you know what I mean, They're, you know, adapting. They pretty much, you know, believed that they were immune to the stone petrification. So they got the anti-petrification anti juice, reawakened Tsukasa because they need the muscle, they need the muscle head of all muscle head, who had a very straightforward point of view about the world, which, you know, hey, I wouldn't blame him. I mean, he makes a point, but hey. But yeah, former antagonist turned hero, turned ally, probably the best character right now in the manga. We are leading to probably the final arc, if not the arc, to define Dr. Stone. Yeah, the moon arc, as I'm calling it, is going to be the arc that defines Dr. Stone. You can say it's Stone Wars, you can say it's the quest for the petrication cure. You could say a lot of arcs will make Dr. Stone. But I think this is the arc that will make Dr. Stone, Dr. Stone. I'm just being honest here. It's been, what, almost three years into serialization. Not axed yet, surprisingly, because it's unique and something different. It actually does something with the shonen tropes better than most series. Think about that for a minute. Like, like think about this. Senku is brains. Tsukasa's bronze. Working together, what do you get? You basically get Bon Fong and, Sun, and Katano Ken from Sun Ken Rock working together being bros. Maybe also Sukasa's cousin, who apparently is, like, um, this is like a criticism of Boichi work most of the time. He also reuses a lot of designs. I, I, I just, I don't know, I don't know why I noticed I just did. So, yeah, this chapter is getting, inter this arc right now, I should say, is getting interesting. How interesting, you may ask? Well, currently, currently, as of the filming of this video, we are now near the midpoint. And the set midpoint is going to lead to the final arc, where they create a rocket ship, go to space, and land on the moon, reinventing the first man on the moon, if not the first man in space. That's my theory. And once they reach the first man in space and first man on the moon, there will be an arc of going back into space, or going back into Earth, excuse me, where then they will then create more rocket ships to maybe even colonize other planets. Now, it may sound ridiculous. You may be right. But it's possible. Hell, they might even find the robot that was actually an, a protagonist in the uh, very, very great, very excellent Bolton of uh, Byakuya, which that's great. That, that was its own. It's a, it's a reboot, but it's a gr it's not really a reboot. It's more of a spinoff, which is why it was coincidentally called Dr. Stone Reboot, but no, it's a spinoff of Byakuya. And his quest as the new leader of humanity, trying to recreate it. And the robot we followed was pretty much the protagonist. It's sad. Like, that might be a major arc later. Like, they get the robot that Byakuya had for years, reawaken it, restabilize it. Or it might be an antagonist, because he might think that uh, 
Bianca left him behind. That's, uh, that's possible. 